万歳。万歳。Sam Mary Jane here with Troy Quando, Daniel Sun and I K Haley. We're just、uh, doing our万歳 thing, and today we want to talk to you about how to hire a kick-ass agency in 万歳 the posers. 万歳。Out there in the space right now,、um, basically setting up shop and doing what we do, and、uh, I was just going to use that. But, okay, here's another one. Thanks.、Um, anyway, so、uh, there's a lot of people. So we're going to cover a few different areas. First, we're going to talk about、uh, the social space,、um, aka the internet.、Uh, <laughs> let's stop using the term social media. I think we can all safely say that the internet is social. So let's just go with. The internet. It's an easier way to deal with it. <laughs> serious? Like, <laughs> how many markers do you need? Okay.、Uh, so anyway, the social space. So let's just say the internet. <laughs> the internet.、Uh, there's a lot of people out there that are saying that they do social media or setting up social media only shops. And you know you have to really be careful when you're hiring people、um, that are making these claims, and kind of look into their success and failures, what they've done, and really look at their offerings and what they bring to the table. Also, look at their own presence.、Um, are they active in the social space? Do they have a blog? Are they on LinkedIn? Are they on Twitter? How active are they? And what have they done for clients? Ask to see some of the work that they've done for clients. Tell them that you want to see what they've done.、Uh, ask for examples of success so that you know、uh, what kind of work they've done.、Um, and also be wary of people that are just active personally,、uh, but don't really bring any business strategy to it. So you might get someone that has 15,000 followers on Twitter. Um, you know, because they're super hot and <laughs> they they put out lots of YouTube videos or something. But how do they correlate that to your business? How do they how do they translate that into marketing and business success?、Um, okay, so let's just say www. Okay, let's stop using the term social media. It's the web. Okay, next let's talk about creativity versus business strategy. And here, you know, it's really about An equal balance of yin versus yang. So over here, okay, I'm going to do this really. I don't have time to make it all nice. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Yeah. <laughs> well, and Danny stole my black marker. So normally this, you did. Yeah. Oh, was that the one that came flying across the room? Yeah, that was the one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So creativity versus business strategy. So over here we have biz strategy, and over here we have creativity. So when you're hiring an agency, you want to know that they're creative. They have good ideas. They bring things to the table in terms of creativity and providing you with original ideas. But that's not all you need.、Um, it'll fall down if if all you have is creativity, but it's not tied to any. Business strategy. There's no benchmarks in place or no measures for success. So make sure that any agency that you hire、uh, is wary of both sides of the coin, so that you're you're putting out things that are creative, but they're also tied to your overall business objectives, and that you actually actually have benchmarks in place to measure the success of any program, campaign, or anything that you put out. You want to make sure that there's actionable results in there, that there's calls to action on anything that you put out. So just really creating balance. Number three, experience, education, and background. Okay, so when you're hiring people, or whether it's a consultant or an agency or, or whoever you're working with, look them up. Google's your friend. Google the people that are involved on your project. Look at their LinkedIn profiles. Look at their work history.、Um, see if they have any recommendations. If they've answered any questions on LinkedIn in the areas that they claim to be experts. Um, and just really kind of do a background check on them and ask them for 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 their history. Did they go to school for marketing, or are they trained as a plumber?、Um, you know, are, have they actually worked in marketing, not just social media? Do they have experience in marketing?、Um, have they worked for an agency? Do they have clients? And what kind of experience do they bring to the table? What do you do? I break boards. Sometimes you know someone might might not have gone to school for marketing or 
don't have any credentials in that area, but maybe they worked for an agency for 10 years and that's where they got their experience. So it's important to balance all of those things out and, and look into that. And finally, can they do interpretive dance? Now, I think this that's is what I'm of, talking about. I think this is one of the most important things, really. I mean, if, if an agency can't do interpretive dance, you really have to question their qualifications. So, I mean, can we get a to, can we get a couple examples of maybe what good agency and maybe bad agency? Sure. So, why okay, don't we start so, with let's start with the bad agency? Okay, so if you if you hired a bad agency, they might look a little something like. Something like that, and a good agency, probably more along the lines of. Oh, you're rocking out. <laughs> so, that's my example of good versus bad interpretive dance. Of course, if I had more time for choreography, I'd probably make it a lot better. 